What is up, guys? Welcome to our 2500 subscriber stream. Thank you all for coming here. I'm sure people will start filtering in here. It looks like the stream is just waiting <laughs> to start here. Don't know if you guys can actually hear me yet. Try to refresh mine here, too. There we go. Adjust the camera a little bit. We'll do all of our fixins here while we wait for people to come in. Who do we have already in here? Looks like we do have Awesome Evan. We have Bots, Wallow Bricks, Dead Boy, Wade Wilson, Mr. Pancake, the real Kermit, not to be confused with the fake Kermit. Uh, we got Dark Knight, Zach V, Fabian, Paul Yu. What's up, Barbarian Builder? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So I had an idea for this stream. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, and there was actually a giant haul that I just never went through. <laughs> uh, it's a giant collection I actually got from a fellow viewer. Um, and we're going to go through that today. Uh, a huge, huge, huge collection. Um, it is a used collection, so I'm not going to be able to pull all of the bricks or anything like that. Uh, because that would just be dumb. There's just huge boxes in my garage. <laughs> uh, but it was like hundreds and hundreds of sets. I've gone through some of them, uh, and I haven't necessarily gone through all of them yet, but we're going to go through the instructions that I still have left of the stuff that I have to go through, uh, and then, you know, we should have some fun, talk about the sets, answer some of you guys' questions. Looks like we got more people coming in here. Jar Jar Binks Studios, SG Studios, Brandon. We got Luggage the Legend, of course. GT Animations, Pizza Boy. What's up, Particle? Haitian and Toyota. Boa Fett's Lego Channel. Joel's Lego Journey. Man, we got lots of people coming in now. What time is it for me? It's 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time here. Preston Cooper, what's up? How much is Commander Wolf going for? About 50 bucks now. Rick Martin in the house. <laughs> we got our mod in the house. What's up, buddy? Joey May. What's up, buddy? 5 p.m. on the East Coast? Yeah, for sure. Just got here. 10 p.m. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I wish I could do these earlier. Uh, my kid goes to nap at 1.30. <laughs> and that's just that's just how it is. Uh, that's the only time I can get any quiet time because the kids are always hounding me uh, on days that I'm here with them because my wife's not here. She's at work. So this is really the only time I have. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's it's, you know, I can do like a birthday stream that's on a weekend or something like that. Stream going crazy? Uh-oh. We're hoping the uh, the Wi-Fi... Everybody pray to the Wi-Fi gods. <laughs> pray. Just pray to the Wi-Fi gods uh, that we hang in here. <laughs> We're going to do the best we can. If you guys just joined in, we are going to do a collection. I'll show you here what this collection is. Uh, I never went through it, but I bought an entire collection, so we'll go through the books here. Uh, there's a little sneak peek of some stuff that's coming right there. Uh, some awesome stuff there. And then we have, we're just going to go through these books, go through the sets that I have to go through in inventory. I haven't actually gotten them up on the store yet, but should be some really cool, some really cool stuff. Yes, floor reveal. <laughs> the full floor reveal. The inside scoop story right here. So let's grab a pile of these. We'll get into it. I think enough people have joined now. Definitely. Thank you all for 2,500 first off. Obviously, my mock skills had to come out. And this, I'm so proud of this one. I'm so proud. <laughs> My best one to date. I I don't I worked real hard and I think it I think it came out real good. <laughs> I think it came out real good. For sure. So let's put that aside, unfortunately. Wi-Fi cuts, please. Yes, for sure. Do a mouth reveal. That that'd be interesting. An interesting concept. I'm gonna try to keep these in order as much as I can. 
but we'll go through it. As you can see, it's just hundreds and hundreds of sets. There's actually more sets than there were instructions. So uh, definitely, definitely going to take forever to go through it. And they're just sitting in my garage. Tan base? Whoa, you're talking crazy now. We can't do, we can't do a tan base plate. That would be... <laughs> that's like next level mock skills. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if we could do that one. <laughs> so first off here, we just have a little city airplane, 3181. Cool planes. Another uh, looks like a bigger plane, 3182. Oh wait, is this the same set? This is the same set? Is this like an airport? Hey, look at that. I don't know anything about city sets, so maybe it's says all connected. This is book two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, apparently, we have a city airport. There we go. Man, Amanda in the shot, please. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Your wish is my command. City sucks. <laughs> I know. We're going through these real quick. 3658, we got a little uh, police helicopter there. We got 4439, which is a bigger police helicopter. Of course, the 4479, the infamous Thai bomber that was going against the uh, gunship for the UCS title, for sure. <laughs> but uh, lost out real hard. <laughs> real hard. The city doesn't suck, but helicopters do. What's up, butt chop? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we have a space police set. I never really got into these very much. We have 5979. Don't know what any of these things are called. I could look each one of them up, but that would take quite some time. Joey May was the gunship gang. Mr. Pancake was also gunship gang, it looks like. The new Avengers Tower? Yes, I did see that. I didn't take a look up close at it, but I did. Uh, we also have five zero or sorry, five zero. Seven zero five two, one of the Alien Conquest sets. I always get tons of those guys. Not sure where they ever came from. Time to eat. Take it easy, man. We also have some castles. As you can see, this was pretty much everything. It was a whole mix, so I figure hopefully most people will be engaged in, <laughs> in all sorts of stuff uh, here. We have the 7094. This is the second book, so probably the first book is somewhere, too. Uh, the castle. I don't remember what castle that's called, but we also have the uh, the dragon and everything like that. This is the newer, newer line castle. I never got into those at all because I was kind of in Dark Ages by that time. We also have Indiana Jones, 7197. The getaway looks like a boat, boat chase from the last crusade. I wish they had the titles on these things. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, helicopters. Butt Chop will like these ones. Uh, looks like we got, th <laughs> for some reason, we have three of book number two. I don't know how city sets work. They're weird. Uh, 7206 fire helicopter. We also do have a Prince of Persia set. 7571. Never got into any of the Prince of Persia's at, at all. <laughs> Somebody already sees a gunship. You're cheating. <laughs> no cheating. No cheating. Uh, we have 7669 Anakin's, I believe it's just Anakin's Starfighter. Is that what that one was called? Yes, we do have gunships here as well. We have the 7676. This one's a little roughed up in terms of the uh, instructions. But yes, we have gunship gunship gang here. <laughs> Beat the, uh, the bomber gang. 7677 gunship, and we actually have two of them in this collection, which I'm really excited about. It looks like we're missing book two of the second one, um, but yes, for sure. Those things are going like crazy now, nowadays. Uh, clone lovers, we also have our 7679. I believe this was just called Republic Fighter Tank, I think is what that one is. Had our clone captain down there with his pistols. Stole those from Rex. <laughs> Doesn't know his place right there. He doesn't even have any colors or anything like that. More city. Got to take you guys down a notch. More city sets. You got police tower. Oh, John Douglas is in the house. <laughs> this is actually... Say hi to John Douglas, everybody. That's where this actually came from. <laughs> uh, we have 7744. Bummer bro is not gang. Sorry about that. For any bomber bros out there. We haven't done the winner of the get it giveaway yet, Jorge. Uh, we have 7752. I believe this was the Solar Sailor, I want to say. Solar Sailor? 
I think. It's the one with Count Dooku, Clone Wars. Uh, we also have Mon Calamari, 7754, one of the cooler sets from back in the day. Book two. All right, that's our first pile. We're going to go through another pile here. Grab all these. Uh, we have another city set. This looks like a Toys R Us truck, which is really interesting. Never seen that before at all. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Even as the Toys R Us emblems. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Put Rip in the chat for Toys R Us. I know Canada. I think Canada Toys R Us is still there. For sure. Oh, this is a great one. We got the... Uh, the Wolf set right here, 7964, Commander Wolf. Speaking of Commander Wolf, we had Commander Wolf in the chat. He's right in here. Yes, Rip, Star Rip, Rip Toys R Us. <laughs> poor, poor Toys R Us. I mean, they did overcharge on things, so you can't keep that up for very long in the internet world. Uh, we also have the 8019. This was, I'm trying to remember what this one was called. I haven't gotten that one very often. It's actually had the clone pilot, Mace Windu. I think it's like the, uh, what is that one called? 8019. Anybody know? Attack shuttle. Republic attack shuttle. That's what it was. Uh, we also have the 8036. This is also a shuttle. I think this was a separatist shuttle. Something like that. It's, it's called the weird Mace Windu set. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, we have the 8038 Endor set here, the big Endor set, with the Chewie and his ATST, flying Ewoks, catapults, speeder bikes. What more could you want? <laughs> if that's your favorite battle, they did a pretty good job on this one, I think, the Battle of Endor. Uh, also, we have the 8039 Venator, of course, one of the classic big boys. Haven't redone this. Everybody's thinking this is going to be some kind of UCS set in the future because they haven't redone it. Now their Clone Wars came back out and stuff like that. We'll see what they end up doing, but I'm guessing that's probably going to happen again. The Venator. All you clone lovers. <laughs> All you Clone Wars lovers right here. I got it for you. Uh, we also had 8061. Looks like we had a couple of these. This is an Atlantis set with a big old squid machine thing. Oh, this is where this one came from. I get this figure all the time. I was wondering where they actually came from. You wonder if the red tiles are broken? Most likely. <laughs> Most likely. Oh, the poor red tiles. Oh my gosh, they're so bad. They're so bad. Uh, we also have 8075 from Atlantis. Big red submarine. Looks like we got a little crawler down there at the bottom too. I was a huge fan of Aquanauts. Uh, never got into Atlantis at all. Um, but it looks cool. I mean, I probably would have been in Atlantis if I was a kid at the time. I liked all those underwater sets. Uh, we also have 8079 from Atlantis. Looks like some crazy cr crazy uh, sea monster. I think this guy wins that battle <laughs> all day of the week. Watch out, you got an Atlantis set from Brixar? Ah, oh, Brixar, yes, for sure. Did you guys see his newest post? <laughs> Who's that? That was a hilarious video. Hilarious. Uh, we have the 8088, I believe that's just called the Ark Starfighter, I think is what that one's called. That's the Kit Fisto ship. Uh, we have the pilots, and that one had Kit, Kit Fisto's droid in there. Ark 170, that's what it is. Uh, we have the 8096. That one is, the, is that the, is that Twilight? No. I'm trying to remember what that one is. 8096? No? Anybody know? I'm trying to remember what the name of that is. Somebody can look it up. I'm sure. Palpatine shuttle. All right, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't really like the look of that one. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe this weird thing hanging off. <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure. Yes, if you guys are new here and you're actually in here and you're not subscribed, not sure what you're doing. Watch that video so you can enter the contest for sure. Grab a couple more here. Ugh. As you can see, this was just a small collection. <laughs> a 
Blackout's here. No, you didn't miss the stream. Uh, we have another city set. We got another airport. Or this is the same airport. I think it's the same airport, right? We started with. My wife put these in order, so it's her fault that they're completely out of order. Oh my gosh. So out of order. <laughs> it's it's my wife's fault. Don't she was helping me out while she wasn't working. <laughs> she was helping me out. She definitely helped me out for sure. All right. Uh, here's the other book. There we go. Yeah, so definitely they were just out of order. So we had all the books. <laughs> it's just no problem, Star Saber. Take it easy, man. Yeah, way out of order. Uh, we have 8863 World Racers. Looks like. We got the uh, the helicopter versus a monster truck versus what looks like a snowmobile. And interesting. Hmm. Never seen that set before in my life. More world racers. We got two different monster trucks. 8864. What's up, Mad Dog? The ice racer or something? That makes sense because they're racing on ice. Is this the desert racer then? <laughs> something like that? 1020 in the UK. Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, we have 8864, another... This is a semi-truck of the racers, I'm guessing. I wonder if they did race numbers. Race number six. Is that like the ge the series or generation of those? I have no idea. Butt Shop needs 8864. Oh, it looks like that was supposed to be through... It's probably somewhere in here. But yeah. Uh, never seen that, that line before, though. Interesting. Uh, we have Power Miners. I know there's a lot of people that were like, hey, I love Power Miners. It's my favorite theme ever. Never got any of those either, but I've gotten some of the rock, the rock beasts or rock monsters. Each set is a race. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So we have some kind of claw. Claw dealio there. Oh, this one's actually really cool. We have a little drill. The 8960. Your country, it's... 1217? Is that what 1217 means? Yeah, 1217. <laughs> uh, we also have a big, huge power miner set. This is 8964. I don't know if this is the biggest one, but this had the uh, giant red rock monster. Really cool looking, actually. They had those awesome looking wheels, too. Titanium command rig. Wade Wilson knows his power miners. Oh, we got the poor rock monster in jail over here. <laughs> oh. Poor guy. We even got some Ninjago in here for all of you Ninjago people. We got 9442. I believe this is Jay's, uh, what is it, Jay's plane? <laughs> I don't know. Jay's plane? I'm not sure. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what that's called. I'm not a Ninjago man. Sorry. I sell Ninjago, but I'm not, uh, I'm not into it in terms of, I don't know all the knowledge. Ninjago people get so mad at me, too, because I don't know everything. It's it's horrible. Uh, we also have Cole here. So it looks like we have a couple of their vehicles. We got Cole's vehicle. We got Jay's vehicle. We got two of these, it looks like. We have Proc Monster. Uh, we have some Monster Fighters as well. This was just an all-around collection. John Douglas was quite the collector, for sure. <laughs> Uh, we have 9464. This is the one with Dracula. Um, we got the driver, zombie driver guy there. Uh, we also have 9466. That was, oh, the one with uh, Frankenstein in there and the mad scientist. That's the, oh, this is, this is all one set too. 9466. Yeah, it looks like so. This is the second part of that set as well. Uh, we got 9467. Oh, I got some blind bags coming, man. Those, oh, those boxes I showed right in the beginning, even though they're gigantic, they're all, they're all uh, huge, huge blind bags. <laughs> well, not quite blind. Most of them are, are mostly blind. They're just horrible pictures, but they looked pretty good. Uh, we have the train here as well, which is really, really cool. I actually might build this just because it looks so awesome. Uh, 9467. Yes, my wife is in the medical field. She's a dental hygienist. So, and dental hygienists were like the literal worst in terms of effectivity. They were at like 99.7% effectivity uh, for that. So she was off for, out for quite a while, <laughs> for sure. 
Uh, we also have the big, huge Monster Fighter set, the Castle here, uh, 9468. Love that one as well. Monster Fighters is a really, really cool theme. I think I would have been in, into that like crazy if that was not during my Dark Ages. Absolutely. The figures you No, uh, that's... Uh, I posted those, but no. <laughs> I posted an Instagram p photo on the uh, on some of the figures, <laughs> but uh, yeah, still going through the collection. My wife had to go back; she had started going the collect through the collection, John, and uh, I just haven't had time at all. Oh, wow, we got super glare for these instructions. Rip for <laughs> rip for the glare. Uh, we also have some Lord of the Rings here. Gotta go, Wade. No problem, man. Uh, we have Lord of the Rings set nine four seven two. The attack on Weatherop. I think this one is Weathertop. I mean. Uh, and this was the great set that had Mary in it as well. And then two ring race as well. Really, really great set uh, of Lord of the Rings. Uh, we also have 9473. I'm trying to remember what this one was called. The Mi I think it was the Mines, right? Mines of Moria. Rick's, Rick's <laughs> bringing down the hammer. <laughs> All right, 9473, uh, we do have more Lord of the Rings here. We have 9474. This is one of the favorite sets of all time, uh, is the, of course, Helm's Deep, which has a whole bunch of different books, four different books, it looks like. We have Theoden in here, all sorts of great figures in that one. I've never built Helm's Deep, so I actually might build that one too, <laughs> just for curiosity. When you see Lord of the Rings Halo theme plays. Uh, we also have 9495. This was our Y-Wing. Party cool, no problem, man. Thanks for tuning in. And 94, or sorry, 9525. We got Previsla's ship here. Built that one several times. Got some Chima in here. Not a, not a whole lot, but he did some Chima. <laughs> it looks like. Uh, 70012. Looks like a giant raven, I would imagine. Uh, I know Butt Shop loves Chima. <laughs> and we got some more Chima. 70135. Interesting sets. I'm surprised Chima didn't go better. I, I don't know why it didn't do, do better. Jar Jar, you gotta go. No problem, man. I wish I could do these streams earlier. I know a lot. it's late for a lot of you guys. I do apologize. Uh, we got 70402. This is another castle set. We got the uh, the Black Knight there. I love the color scheme on this guy. And 70403. The Dragon Castle. That one's actually pretty cool, too. He's got the gold chest. <laughs> oh no, they're shooting him. He's got the gold chest. He's like, no, this is mine. You can't have it. Uh, we also have 70404, which is the big castle of that generation, I believe. Tiny books for a big castle, which is kind of surprising, for sure. Yes, Chima is really unique. I, I don't know. I, I can't tell what I would have been into if, if I was still a kid collecting all this stuff, but maybe. Grab some more here. Oh, this is the same uh, same castle. We got some more Ninjago. We got 70504, which is an awesome looking treaded tank there. Oh, this is what uh, Kozu comes in. Rick Martin like Chima. Uh, we got 70505. We're Golden Lloyd. So, so when I actually look at all these things, I have no idea because I never was around buying Lego during the sets when these things were released. So all I recognize is the minifigures, which is terrible. Uh, but that's just that's just me. That's what I got because <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, so we also have Garmadon, the four-armed Garmadon there as well. It's cool to see, though, where they came out of because I just had no idea. I would just like look up the set number for the minifig and that was it. 
Uh, we also have some OG original Lego movie. Oh, I didn't know they had uh, the adventurer's guy in there. Interesting. Johnny Thunder is his name, I think. I didn't know they featured him, and they also we have an Ninjago guy in here. Interesting set there, for sure. Uh, well, great set here. We have 75005, the Rancor Pit. One of my favorite things, the giant Rancor. Big fig, favorite big fig by far is the Rancor. I also have Jex Starfighter 75018, which was an awesome set for sure. They did two uh, sets featuring Jack. I've, I think the other one has more valuable minifigs uh, than this one did, but... Which one did you guys like best? Which version of Jack? Uh, we also have the classic 75019 with our Coleman <laughs> Draper, uh, our Mace Windu, the yellow-faced clone. Awesome set there, for sure. That's one of the fan favorites. And going along with the fan favorites, we got our Gunship Gang again in our 75021, which is totally awesome as well. Love that. I don't know what my favorite version of the Gunship was. Uh, I'm not sure what you guys think. I think a lot of people, in terms of my favorite minifigure set, uh, I'm going to go with the old school one with Jedi Bob, of course. <laughs> in terms of the actual Gunship itself, it's hard to say between this one and 7676. I'll probably lean towards this one because I like the minifigure set plus the other one. I don't like the minifigure set as much in 7676, um, but this one's cool. They're all cool. All the gunships are cool. <laughs> uh, we also have 75024. This is the one with Obi-Wan in disguise. Great figure there. Still going. Still going. <laughs> uh, we have 75043. This is the ATAP. I actually, there was two of these in here. I actually sold one of them already because um, somebody wanted it. So I had to actually find it in the bucket and build it and clean it and, and <laughs> like make sure everything was there. And uh, it was a pain because <laughs> uh, I hadn't even started on this collection yet at all. So I had to actually go in there. But they were begging for it. So I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's got an awesome uh, Phase 2 Gree. Anything Phase 2 right now is totally crazy. Uh, we have 75046, another really unique, awesome set with a ton of everybody's favorite. Uh, not a ton, but there's two of these guys. Uh, two Phase 2 Shock Troopers, and they were only in this set. If anybody knew, <laughs> if anybody knew they were only in this set, oh, man. We should just look at Phase 2 clones and just be like, yep, there we go. <laughs> uh, also, my favorite version of Ahsoka as well. This is just a, an all-around cool set. The front of this is really, really cool as well. I've built this one before. The value of Ahsoka, yeah, the the uh, Clone Wars or Rebels, Rebels version? I think it's Rebels version of Ahsoka. It's just ridiculous. That and Phase 2 Rex just went bonkers. Oh my gosh, so crazy. She was always worth a ton, but yeah, holy cow. Uh, we also have 7500, sorry, 75055, our classic Star Destroyer here. Uh, 75103, a little bit newer here. We got some Phasma in our First Order Flame Troopers with some resistance guys. The Ahsoka in that set is just about 15 bucks, somewhere between 15 and 20. We got 75152. Looks like two of those. The hover, I think these are the hover tanks, but the unique hover, hover tank pilots. Those guys sell really well, the pilots themselves. And we also have Chirrut. Great figs. Uh, we have 75156, Krennic Shuttle. She went up a lot. Look on eBay. The, the middle version of Ahsoka went up a lot, or the other one? Maybe just every. Um, like every version of Ahsoka, maybe. <laughs> Just because Clone Wars came back out. Of course, we have BB-8, the UCS version of BB-8. I actually really liked this build. Um, BB-8 was far better than Dio, that's for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, just crazy. 
the middle version of Ahsoka 75? No, no way. I've been selling her for real cheap, if that's the case. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, we also have some Jurassic World sets, 75918 with the big T-Rex in there. Escape on a motorbike. It's a pretty cool looking vehicle as well. There's a bolt hat. More Jurassic World sets. We got 75920. Some sweet raptors. And a quad. That's pretty cool too. The buildable BBA was a huge thing. Am I going to build on the Cloud City? I don't know if I'm going to build on that lot that you showed me. <laughs> uh, it's hard to say if he's real. His legs have a little defect on them that could... I don't know. The stuff he's with just really doesn't seem like it's real, but I don't know. He's so blatantly out there. <laughs> I don't know. Manuals is your way to go. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really the only way to, sh to show used sets here, unless you want to see bags of parts, I guess. You think it's real? I mean, it could be. It's a, it's definitely hard because, I mean, it's going to go up a little bit higher, too. So if you gamble on it, it, or if I gamble on it, and it's not real, then there's really no value there. No problem, Juan. Take it easy, man. We got a Hobbit set here, 79004. I think this is the Barrel Escape. We got Gloin. Uh, we also have 79006. This was an Elrond, or, uh, wow, what's that? Holy cow. I'm trying to remember what that was called. <laughs> oh, my Lord of the Rings knowledge is going downhill. That's Elrond, though, right? And we got Gimli over here flying for some reason. Not sure what that's all about. Oh, because he tried to hit the, uh, I get it. Okay, he tried to break the thing, and he goes flying. I get it now. All right. <laughs> Do I like Lord of the Rings? Of course, man. Uh, we also have the Black Gate, which is a really cool set. 79007. Has the uh, Mouth of Sauron figure. It was really, really cool. Elf Waifu, that's her name. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I just, I put, I'm put i putting these all out of order now. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not flipping them over, unfortunately. That was really dumb of me. Um, we also have 79010, which is the uh, the newer Hobbit movie troll, the big huge, or Goblin King, right? Goblin King? That's what that one was called, I believe. The middle Ahsoka is $80? Holy cow! Uh, <laughs> I've been selling that fig for like Seventeen dollars, <laughs> I think. Supply and demand. I tell you what. Holy cow! I've, I mean, I've sold that figure several times. I'm gonna have to go out and get my Ahsoka bin real quick. I was hoping I had some Ahsokas, but all we have is the old version. We got two torsos of her of that version. Got to get some legs, apparently. <laughs> Dang. Don't have the other ones. I should have kept her. <laughs> I had a whole bunch of those. No wonder they sold, apparently, I guess. <laughs> uh, we also have another Hobbit set. This is the... Um, I'm trying to remember what this one was called. This is that, that town from The Hobbit. Old version's $25. Jeez! And 79016. We got the other female elf there. On that one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> you know how many Ahsokas I've sold? Oh my gosh. Going into the small books, that was the it for the big books of that. Going into the small books here, we had a little tiny Kai Ninjago set. 2258. Yes, <laughs> F's in the chat for me selling everything for so cheap. You can never tell that market, though. Like, had Clone War, I'm guessing it's just between all of this stuff and everything going up in price from people buying stuff um, and, and whatnot. That's probably why all of these prices have changed so dramatically. People being stuck inside and getting back into Lego and 
I, I don't know, spending their money on that. Uh, plus, also, uh, Clone Wars came out, and Ahsoka is obviously a big character in Clone Wars, so I'm sure that people are trying to buy Clone Wars figures. We also have uh, Cole in a little spinjutsu practice there. I don't have any co Clone Army custom. I don't do anything custom at all. Some more city sets here. We got 3181, little tiny truck. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. I wonder why they did a whole book for that. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, we have 3178. Oh, I'm still doing it. I'm still not putting them upside down. I'm supposed to be putting them upside down. What are you doing? Take it easy, Wade. Thanks for stopping by, man. Got a police or a uh, airport tower here. So these are probably the little books from those big sets, I would guess. <clears throat> it's actually a pretty dope looking car. <laughs> now you can't afford any Sokas. Apparently, I can't either. Now, holy cow! <laughs> but the Ahsoka in your eBay store, so you can buy it for seventeen. I probably would have. Yeah. Sometimes I look back at prices, but I really don't all the time. Take it easy, Mad Dog. More city sets, 4436 and 4437. We got a little monster truck Jeep thing there. We got another space police here. Gotten that fake before. He has the Blacktron, the old school Blacktron symbol on him. So that's actually one of my favorite space police figs. 5981. We got 6191 as well. That looks like a old school one. Firehouse. <laughs> you're all trying to uh you're all trying to get me to <laughs> to lose out on all my money. Uh 6240, we got a pirate set here. I think this is the Kraken. They consider this the Kraken something. Kraken attack. This one's actually really cool. I actually wanted this set uh, as a kid and never got it. 6442. One of the newer like divers lines. I thought those were all really cool. The best watermelon? Will Harper's got the best watermelon. I'm jealous, man. Watermelon's my favorite thing about summer, spring and summer. Uh, we got 6867. I actually just posted that Iron Man. It's in a little set, but actually that Iron Man's pretty good. I love watermelon. Oh, it's so good. 6918, we got the Lego Kingdoms Blacksmith Shop, I think is what this one is. Why would you, why would you hassle the blacksmith, man? Come on. 70400. Zero, zero, zero. Got another castle. This guy's going airborne. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Do I think Ahsoka will tank? I don't know. There's only a certain amount of them, so maybe not. 7188. The King's Carriage, I would guess. Something like that. We got 7078. Another castle theme. Yeah, the night sets are really cool. I always loved Castle. I didn't get into the new Castle because this was during all my Dark Ages of Lego. Um, but they're really cool sets anyways. Uh, 7092, another Castle theme there. These are the uh, Skeleton Warriors. You got the black uh, skeletons there too. <laughs> uh, seven, uh, oh, that's the same one. Is this the same one? 7188. Oh, this is the King's Carriage again. Okay, so this is the second part of the King's Carriage. Interesting. There's also like a little trap that they had set for it, I think. That's cool. More Indiana Jones. We got 7195. Look at this tiny little set had four minifigs in it. That's pretty crazy. And then we also have a King of the Crystal Skull, 7196. I think those uh, little skull alien things actually sell pretty well, just by themselves. I haven't sold one in a while, though. More, more, more. <laughs> more, more. Uh, we have 7206, another city set, firefighter truck there, and then 7239, another one. It looks like two of those. 
Oh, it looks like it comes with a little trailer with a raft as well. I never knew anything about any of the city sets. <laughs> I haven't done anything city. I never did anything city when I was a kid either at all. 7286 and 7285. Like most of it's just police and helicopter, or police and uh, firefighter helicopters. I got some Pharaoh's Quest. We haven't seen that one before. 7305. Little, uh, what do they call those? The beetles? Scarab beetle? Something like that. Uh, also, another one. I was wondering where these guys came from. I've actually sold a whole bunch of those guys. 7307. Got the biplane. It's actually a pretty sick biplane. For sure. Everyone wants face reveal. I actually already revealed my face. You just have to go look at the uh, 60K collection videos. They're there. <laughs> They're there for everyone's enjoyment. Uh, 7639. We got the camper van. Yeah. Scarab. Yeah. Camper van. 7741, another police helicopter. Been there, done that. 7744, another police vehicle. Oh, we got a snail tank here. 7748 with the jet troopers. Jet phase one clones. Uh, 7749, this is the Hoth. I'm trying to remember what the actual name of it was. This is one of the original Hoth ones. We got Han on his Tauntaun. Great set, actually. Uh, 7848, the Toys R Us store. Interesting. <laughs> Never seen that before either. I think I've seen this before for sale, uh, but I haven't actually seen this set before. We have Mandalorian Battle Pack. That went up in price quite a bit. I used to sell Mandalorians. That's one other thing that I used to sell for like crazy cheap was the uh, Mandalorians. I used to sell those guys for like two fifty, three bucks a piece. <laughs> Not anymore. Uh, we have a V-Wing, 7915. That makes sense. Store came with a truck. Just a little book. My, my wife separated little books, big books. So uh, We have the uh, carrier, droid carrier, 7929. That was a classic one. Build up your droid armies. 7949, another cart, kingdom's cart. 7956, Got, I think this is Ewok Attack. Is what that one's called. Speeder bikes. This is my favorite thing. Favorite thing of all time. Right there. Yeah, Super Commando. I actually just sold some Super Commandos. But yes, the price on them went up crazily too. I used to sell those guys for 10 bucks a piece. They were $10. I used to sell them in a two-pack, the for version 1, version 2 together. Uh, and I think it was 20 bucks. I sold the two-pack for. Yep, not anymore. <laughs> uh, we have 7957. This... <laughs> This has cool minifigs, but this set itself is just terrible <laughs> in terms of value. Oh my god! One of the this one and the um, the set with Anakin uh, and Thyssen, those are just like totally terrible value sets. <laughs> and Savage is in there too, so I'm surprised that that one did so terribly. But man, it's it's bad. Uh, of course, we got our phase one clone walker battle packs here we have two of those all you clone lovers uh eight one eight zero one five assassin droids my least favorite thing to sell and in pretty much just of all time <laughs> in there uh we get eight zero one six here's the rocket droids thirty dollars a piece for for uh super commandos i tell you what the it's kind of like price gouging, though. <laughs> is it price gouging if, like, something that used to sell for, like, $5 or $10 is now selling for $30? Like, Ahsoka, jeez. 8016, we got the uh, Hyena Droid. I think is what that one's called, right? Or is it the Droid Bomber? That's Droid Bomber, right? $40 with the raised eyebrow. I just sold them together. I actually just sold a pair of them just recently to somebody on Instagram, I think. I don't remember what I took for them, though. <laughs> if I don't want a price gouge. <laughs> for sure. 10 bucks, if you, 10 bucks a piece. It is, isn't that kind of like price gouging, though? Like, if just something just goes up all of a sudden? I guess it's maybe just following the market. There's no such thing as price gouging for collectibles, I guess. Because it just goes based off of what people are willing to pay for them. It's not like something that's freely made, like hand sanitizer. 
Uh, we have 8056, another Atlantis set. Uh, Instagram selling, yeah, you have to have some kind of payment method, Venmo, PayPal, things like that. Just don't do anything for friends and family. I'm not into that. <laughs> even even if somebody like tries to pay me stuff like that, generally, unless I really, really know them, I'll still just take the 3% hit from PayPal just because I don't feel like buyers should take that risk because somebody could just walk off and be like, yeah, it's friends and family. You don't have any protection whatsoever. So be careful with that, guys. Don't, don't do friends and family payments through Venmo or PayPal over Instagram, unless you really, really know the person, you've worked with them quite a bit, uh, or something to that effect. Um, we also have more Atlantis, 8058, little shark submarine thing, uh, 8059, little spinning chopping disc thing there, is that attached to that? Oh, I guess it looks like it's attached to the wheel, and it's got a claw on the other side, that's pretty sick, I get those guys all the time. Your clone loft. I'm super jealous of your clone lot. Man, talk about value increase. All the clones. Holy cow. We got 8086. Uh, I believe that one, what was that called? The Tri Fighter. We got two of those. More rocket droids. <laughs> uh, 8091 Swamp Speeder. The one with the uh, Black Cape Bears. Got a little city town builder, it looks like, 80, or 8401. Another power miner set. We got a little mech here, 8957. That's the same one. Uh, we got 8962. There's a ton of sets that I've just never sold. This is, uh, I think, a pretty valuable rock monster, just because it's just like one set is the whole monster. <laughs> or something like that. You have 40 pounds of clones coming? Holy cow. Uh, we also have 9440. And Jago set. Yeah, Rick, we had to make more uh, mods when you weren't here that one time. And then it went mod madness. <laughs> Craziness. Uh, we have 9441, which was a Kai set. Looks like a Kai uh, motorcycle, something like that. Two of those. Monster Fighters, we got 9461 with the Swamp Monster. And we got 9462 with the Glow in the Dark Mummy. 9463, we had the Werewolf with the Glow in the Dark Claws. Uh, we're going back to Lord of the Rings. <laughs> you fell asleep from overworking yourself? No problem, man. No problem. Uh, we got 9469, that was Gandalf's cart. Uh, that's the same one. Looks like I had two of those, maybe. Uh, 9470. This was Shelob's Lair, I think is what that one was called. Yeah, Rick was definitely the first mod, for sure. Uh, 9471. We got the Urukai Army. That's, it looks like we have two of those. That was, uh, some of people's favorite sets of Lord of the Rings. Obviously, John Douglas, it was his favorite, too, because he got two of them. <laughs> for sure. Too much, dog. Thanks, man. Thanks for the well wishes. A million? That's kind of a ways away, but for sure. Ugh. We're getting to the end of the box. We could time it just perfectly for like an hour, because I bet my kid's going to wake up in about an hour. Uh, this is actually from another one of the sets we already got. The uh, Made Bricks, you never late, man. The, what was that called? Oh, <laughs> you think of so many different things and then you just totally forget what those are called. That was the, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 9476. This was the uh, factory, orc factory or whatever it is. Just saying hi, going to bed. No problem, man. Thanks for stopping in. This also had the uh, Sauron... Helmet and shields. Mine's a Moria, that's what it was. Those things are super pricey now. One of my favorite battle packs of all time. We got 9488 with the Ark and the Arf. And two Commando Droids, those actually do pretty well too. 
Good little battle pack. Back when the battle packs were awesome. We also have 9491, the other set that had Barris, the Geonosian Cannon, with our Phase 1 Gree. The Draft Droids. <laughs> Uh, we got 9496, Desert Skiff, Classic Boba. You literally just bought that. Uh, 9498, Sassy Tins Fighter. I never had to know how to say his name. Looks like we've got two of those. Green, love that green. That's my favorite color ever. Uh, we got the little mini MIDI build turbo tank. 200. Zero six zero 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 six, and some brick masters. We've got two zero 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 nine. The walker there, and also the oh, it's just the same one. Two of those. We also have the gunship one. Two zero zero one zero, and another tiny little Atlantis build. I think we already got this one too. Uh, so let's go. We got two of these. Wrong order. <laughs> Good job, waifu. Wrong order. Seven zero one three five. Going back to Chima. I think we did. We get that one too before. I think. Uh, seven zero four zero one. A little cart there. Same one. Two of those. We got seven zero five zero zero. Uh oh, my phone's low on battery already. Holy cow. Uh. Looks like Kai's little mech, fire mech, I'm guessing. 70502, Cole's little drill car. That's the names of all of these. <laughs> I don't actually call her that. Um, believe it or not, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that term in my life. The things you say on a live stream. Uh, 70701, which is a galaxy squad. With, I've gotten that guy before with his little antennas that always fall off. Now I know what he came in. For sure. Two of those. We got 70706, which is another Galaxy Squad. Another Lego movie. <laughs> we got the old Castle Knights here. They did better sets in the old Lego movie. <laughs> I think. Uh, also, a castle here. For, is that the same set? Yeah, it's the same set. Why doesn't it say book two? That's weird. Doesn't actually list it as book two, but it is book two. Wait, that's book two. That's confusing. <laughs> that's, uh, uh huh. Okay. All the books. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's all about. Oops, I didn't flip those ones over. We're getting to the end. My my phone's gonna die. One more stack. And there were other ones too. Um, but ultimately, I've sold a couple of them just from people requesting them. Um, and also there's some books and other ones that aren't don't have instruction books and stuff like that. So uh, one of the fan favorites that they just redid, well kind of redid, 75002, the original 501st. The only place you get them, <laughs> besides one other set, I guess. But this is probably the place that most people got them. Uh, we had three three of those dudes. There's your clones, Joey May. Uh, we got Micro Fighters. And our Utapa Troopers. Just sold all the ones I, those I had. Uh, Bark Speeder, 75037. Those guys probably went up in value too, I would imagine, as the as the time goes on. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, 75038. That's the uh, new Jedi Interceptor, I guess. Anakin's Jedi Interceptor, I think. Two of those. Another different version of Hyena Droid. I, I'm always missing these guys. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, the other collection that I bought had a whole bunch of sets that had this in it, and I just, no buzz droids. I don't know. I don't know where the buzz droids went. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. They're gone. 
75135, we got the Obi version of that. 2.52, yeah, man, we're growing. The giveaway is probably helping. If you guys are, are watching and not subscribed or applied for that giveaway, definitely do that. We got the Phantom, the original Phantom, 75170. Uh, 75183, we got the Darth Vader transformation. The guys that I thought were going to be totally awesome, Bark Troopers not super expensive, interesting. I thought these guys were going to do really well just because they look so awesome. <laughs> uh, but they don't do too well. Not too much. Uh, we have the new Bounty Hunter Battle Pack, which I'd never actually seen any of these because they're just too new for me. So, <laughs> How long is the stream? We're wrapping it up. We're at the end of the box. Uh, plus, my phone's going to die. So, uh, we have 75917, new Jurassic World set. Two more Raptors. The little headpieces there. Rick Martin's dropping down the hammer. <laughs> yeah, no spamming. Nobody likes spamming. Doesn't make me read anything, so don't spam. It's just better for everybody. 76083. This is the Vulture, right? The Vulture set. Uh, we also have another Hobbit set, 79001. That's uh, the... I needed Philly and Killy. Looks like there's two of those for a collection I was doing. I needed Philly and Killy. I'll probably sell them with the set, though. Uh, we have 79002, the Warg... What is it? Warg Attack? Something like that? I don't remember what that was called. Battle of the Wargs? <laughs> something, something Warg. Warg was in the title, I know that. 79005, this is the infamous duel of Saruman and Gandalf. I just bought a whole bunch of those. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not sure why, but I did. <laughs> oh, this is a great set. This is the, it looks like book one of probably something that also has other books. Uh, 79010, one of the other Hobbit sets. Great fit minifigures. We got Nori, Dory, and Ori. I don't remember, I think this is Ori. This is... I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Good figures, though. Good figures. 79012. Another one of the elf sets there. There's a brown warg that goes in there. The goblin layer. Uh, we also have 7959. This is the one with Cody and uh, Kiari Mundi. I'm trying to remember what that was called. Geonosian Shuttle? Something to that effect? Whew! Like I said, there's a whole bunch of other kits in there uh, that, that don't have the instructions or anything like that. Whew, that's going to take a lot of work because they're all used sets, so I'm going to have to go through all of them, uh, make sure they're all inventoried and stuff like that. Um, but, again, thank you all. 2,500 subs, amazing. We'll be here again at 5. <laughs> we'll probably do a live stream on my birthday or something like that too, possibly if I can skip away uh, or something to that effect. But, uh, yeah, my phone's definitely going to die, so... Rick Martin wants a, a tan base plate. I don't know. I don't know if I can do that. Uh, my birthday's on the 23rd, so upcoming, what is that, two days away? Something like that? Two days away? Uh, so we might do that. I, I might be going camping, so we'll see if I can come back or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not already. Enter the giveaway for sure. 10% off anything you want in the store uh, using the code 2500 right now if you wanted to message me on eBay uh, or something to that effect. So, love all of you. Thank you for coming to the stream. We timed that pretty well. Usually I try to make them about an hour, uh, and this is about an hour. <laughs> love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'll announce the winners uh, when I close it, probably in a couple days.